All right, I'm gonna do another experimental fly tonight. Let me go ahead and turn this around. So our dog just had surgery, had a leg removed, and um, in order to make the house a little more, a little more um, three dog, three legged dog friendly, we got some carpet for the kitchen. Um, just we just put it down on the floor so that he would have something to grip to. Well, in the process of cutting up the carpet and putting it down, of course, anytime you get new carpet, you end up with things like all this stuff. And uh, of course, I was and that and this, of course, it's all the stuff that's woven together to make the carpet. So I saw that stuff and I thought, hey, that this kind of looks like sometimes what deer hair looks like when you tie it on as a wing and so I figured let me go ahead and try to tie a fly with it so it's an experimental fly I'm not worried about actually how it turns out but it'd be worth a shot so um, from the from the Eagle Claw 3 pack I chose the smallest size and uh, I'm going to make um, I don't even know what to call it some kind of a nymph something or other so let me get started with some black thread I think I'm going to have some trouble with this video because of my connection um, but let me go ahead and get a layer of thread on here normally on a fly like this where I would use fine found materials I would tie completely with um, with the materials that I found and not use any actual fly tying materials but in this case I wanted to use thread because I know that that stuff that I found is not going to tie on very easily and it's definitely not going to hold if I just use it by itself so I'm going to use thread and get some good coverage here so for anybody that's watching live, I apologize for the connection. Um, so let me get this going. Let me get some wax on this thread, help it hold together. Uh, this wax is not anything special. It's just bowstring wax for my uh, my compound bow. Just put it on there if it starts to fray and get crazy. But in this case, it's going to help hold the materials. So, um, so I've got an end sort of prepared here. I'm going to use that as kind of a wing, but I'm going to use the other end for a little bit of a tail. Just basically anything that makes it fluffy and look like something to eat. So this stuff is really fluffy, really fluffy, but it's got little places where it was glued down and it kind of comes together there. I'm just going to utilize that as my tie-in point. And like with any fly tying materials, you just get two or three turns, you're good to go to hold it for the time being. So I got those two turns. I'll lift this up and cut it right there under that piece of glue. There. Okay. Let me I'll grab that real quick and get a good a few twists on it. No, I don't want that to be crazy long. So I'm going to pull all this back and snip it here. Like that. This extra fluff I'm going to snip off too. And if anybody's wondering, if anybody knows mine and Paige's dog, uh, Duke, we had 
when we came to California, we had Lulu, Duke, and Daisy. And Lulu had cancer in her abdomen, and we ended up having to put her down. Um, now we have Duke and Daisy, and Duke last year got a tumor on his leg. And that tumor uh, grew to about the size of a softball uh, over the last few months. And so we got it checked out, and it turned out to be um, cancerous. So we, or we think it's cancerous. So we went in and had it tested and then had it removed. And so that happened last week. So it was kind of a, ba kind of a crazy week. Um, so we got carpet and covered the whole... We didn't uh, put it down permanently, but we put down carpet in the kitchen um, all throughout and down the back hallway. All right, so this is the other tie-in stuff. It kind of has a shiny finish to it. It's kind of a plasticky, nylon, vinyl-y stuff. But uh, I'm just going to tie this in here. As you can see, when I pull it, see if I go here, it pulls right down, um, back to the front. So I have to work with it a little bit to get it to go where I want it to go. Like that. That actually has a cool look to it right there. It's kind of segmented, but I don't want that. I'm not too worried about this bump right here because I can fill that in once I get there. I do want to snip that little extra hair. It's not really hair, but it looks like it. Um, so I'm going to wrap this to the back. Make sure it starts where I want it to. There we go. And sometimes when the material is this slick, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and put down a little bit of fingernail polish and as it dries it'll make it grab a little better okay so I've got this piece here I'm actually gonna snip this shorter so I can work with it a little easier I don't need a very long piece about eight inches or so it's funny when you collect um, random materials that you find to tie flies with, um, they end up everywhere. And you have a room full of junk that you can tie with. So I'm just going to wrap this forward. Make it tight, good touching turns. Which be a generally gray body. This stuff has some kind of chunky plastic glue and stuff on it that'll just add to the texture kind of like sand or something and I'm going to go all the way up to the head here I'm going to go back a little bit try to make that hump go away although I'll be covering that with uh, some more of that material from the tail There we go. And I could have tied in a piece of wire to help that be even more shiny. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary here. But I do want to put a good layer of thread here to make sure that doesn't come untied. Because that stuff is so slick. Get a good head here. That could almost pass for a little minnow. Actually. That's a good thing about flies like this is they can kind of come up, come off as multiple different kinds of critters. Um, okay, let me find my other end that I had prepared. I think it's this one. So uh, I just have a little section that I brushed out and then I snipped it all the same length. So I'm going to go ahead and this will kind of be like a wing of sorts like that. Let me 
me snip this again. I get too much material, I can't get around it. So what I'll do is just make it about the same length as the body. I'll hold it to where it crosses there. And I'll make a couple of wraps. So I've already got that thread head started with the slick material that'll actually give me something to tie to. I'll just pull this up, cut it off, cut that a little shorter so it's again away of the eye. There. To, and I'll just snug that down. Probably could have cut a little more off of that, but that's okay. And what I'm doing here, on the, you can't see it in the camera, but on the back side, I've got a little bit of that thread sticking out. This uh, fluffy stuff sticking out here under my tie. I'm going to make that, make sure that gets covered up. Just make a good head shape, a little cone shape here. couple of twists so this is just a finishing tool this is a whip finisher basically what it does is it wraps that little bit of string around itself and then when you release it and tie it in uh, it locks all that thread down and then you just snip And then a little bit of nail polish to finish the head. And that nail polish is surprisingly good for, for finishing a fly. Um, I have old flies back here that I tied years ago when I first started fly tying, fly fishing, 10 years ago, and they still or the fingernail polish is still solid, you know, keeps it all tied together. But anyway, um, it's a little bit much on the, on the fluffiness here. I think I'll snip a little bit of that off. Just a little bit, see it's past the body. Go right about here. So the idea there is that you have um, either a bug that looks like it is coming out of the the casing that they make when they grow, um, or any any case, whatever it is, um, kind of looks like a wing or like part of um, a, the shell that they were in or whatever. Um, but when it's all fluffy like that and you throw it in, especially if you use a uh, floatant, you mix it all in there, it keeps it where you want it. You either want it to sink or you want it to float, uh, but it'll grab bubbles, which will make it like it's, uh, it's actually breathing, you know, something like that. And I could have also taken this and put it on the bottom side and had it going down, which would help protect that hook, um, but it's whatever you can make it do whatever I could have tied a feather on and wrapped around the base of that and made kind of a, a it's called a parachute when you have that fluff sticking up um, but anyway it's not an amazing fly but again it's something I like to make flies out of things that I find um, so I've done a couple of flies in fact my last I think my last two out of this stuff that I found um, tying some lumber together at Home Depot. Um, they wrap it around and tie tie bunches of like one buys together. They use that stuff. And the last one that I found actually had, it was like that, but it had pink in it. And I put that on a bobbin holder. And I used that to tie a fly. But uh, this stuff was stuff that technically I found at home, but it's from carpet that I got at Home Depot. So um 
I just like to look for things that I can make flies out of and see if they work. Um, I went on a, uh, Paige's family goes to this ranch and they had these pillows there that were kind of velvety and the strings, some of the strings on the edges were hanging off real long and I took one and snipped it off, wrapped it onto a hook and ended up making a fly that I caught a fish with and I was pretty excited about that. So those found materials, um, I just tied it on a hook and went with it and it worked. But so hopefully this will work out. Um, I can't wait till I can get out and try. I've got, this must be my, nearly my 50th video. Um, so I'm hoping to get out soon and try a bunch of these flies out and see if I catch any fish with them. But um, if you're watching all this time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'd like to see you post some uh, of your pictures on here on Facebook if you're watching on Facebook. And uh, and then if not, uh, if you watch this on YouTube, Quiet Man 28 is my channel. Um, if you can watch it and maybe post a comment or two, that'd be cool. Give me a thumbs up or whatever. It's just nice to see people watching and actually commenting. But uh, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoyed the fly. Uh, the stories or whatever, and um, thanks for watching. Have a good night.